Hey guys, and welcome back to the Ozone. Um, today, I'm just doing a Q&A video. I wanted to do something a little bit different from my normal content, from a normal, normal FNAF style content. Uh, and I just wanted to, you guys to get me, to get to know me better. I can't talk today. What is wrong with me? Um, so basically, I sent out this um, this community message. I uh, said, hey guys, I'm planning on doing a Q&A video as I simply want to make a non-FNAF video where you get to know me better. All I need are a ton of questions. I would appreciate it if you could comment at least one question you may have for me, and it can be about anything really. Uh, and then I put a, a nice little thanks and a bear emoji thingy. So I got about, I don't know, like 50, let's say 50 to 100 questions. Um, and I'm going to answer them all in a recording session. Um, and cut out the ones that are badly answered. So I'm sorry if your question isn't on here. It's just because I didn't have a good answer for it really. It might have just been, no, I don't watch this thing or something like that. Um, but yeah, hopefully this should be good. Hopefully you guys will get to know me better. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. If you were in the missing children's incident, which animatronic do you think you would become? <laughs> First question is a FNAF question. If I was in the Mr. Children's then which animatronic do you think I'd become? So in other words, which animatronic is my is my like spirit animatronic? It's like a spirit animal, but spirit animatronic. Um I don't really know. I don't know how you can judge. I'm not big and bulky like Freddy. I'd say I'd be a foxy. I'd be a pretty good foxy. Um I'm quite fast, I think. And I have that good pirate accent. Izzy the Artist says, What inspired you to start YouTube? When did you start YouTube? And when and how did you get into the FNAF fandom? That's three big questions there that I've got really long answers to, but I'm not going to bore you. Um, essentially, the thing that inspired me to start YouTube is simply other YouTubers. Um, I really liked Game Theorist at the time, uh, and I wanted... Um... Actually, no, not really. I started YouTube like... I think it was about 10 years ago, actually, um, but it, I didn't make a, a good channel, obviously, it, it was not good at all, it was not good content, uh, but I made I made a, a, a YouTube channel with my friends. Hello everybody, and welcome to a new series with me, Smudge Cake, and today I, I just thought of a new series, and today I'm starting it, so it's, it's going to be quite fun, I perhaps. Um, uh, and then that slowly turned into a kind of game theorist rip-off channel uh, <laughs> called Science Appliance uh, and now it's me doing FNAF theories because that was what was popular on Ozone. Um, yeah, and how did I get f into the FNAF fandom? Um, again, by MatPat. Um, FNAF 1 came out and all my friends were like, oh yeah, I've, I've played this epic, scariest hor horror game. Uh, at 12 a.m., <laughs> full volume in pitch black. Uh, I didn't believe them, um, but I was terrified of the games when they first came out. Uh, I even saw someone playing it on the bus on their on their phone, uh, and I couldn't look at the screen because I knew a jump scare was coming. Uh, anyway, I started getting to the FNAF fandom um, kind of at the end of. I did, why did I say end? At this kind of at the start of Sister Location. Um, I I would do, I remember Matt Pat's stream with Dorco, Razbowski, Eight uh, Bit Ryan's, you know, all those people. Um, uh, they all did that stream where they theorised about FNAF and who the purple guy was and stuff like that. Um, that was when I started to really get into FNAF. Um, when I realised that it was much more than just a game, it was literally uh, like a puzzle, and I love puzzles. So that's kind of what got me into the FNAF fandom. Then I started making videos on it. Evil Kermit 21, nice name, says, I'm super new to your channel, so if my questions seem silly, that's why. No problem. Uh, how long have you made FNAF videos? Um, I just said, I don't know really. Like, I, my first FNAF video was when Sister Location came out. That was about three, four years ago now. Um, then I realized it started to get popular. Um, and so I only did FNAF content, 
which answers your other question, yes I did make videos on other topics, I was a sciencey channel, I would apply science to games, hence the name Science Appliance, um, but then suddenly I was like, FNAF is pretty cool, people like my FNAF videos, I'll make FNAF videos from now on, uh, and then yeah. Well you said you wanted to do something not FNAF related, I just had to ask, who is your favourite FNAF character? Probably the puppet, um, if animatronics are counting as characters. Um, but yeah, I would probably say the puppet. I really like the puppet. Uh, very different to, to everyone else, I think. How do you come up with some of the ideas you do here? There actually are some of the more creative things I see, as it's more than just theories or games, especially things like the Happiest Day podcast and the quizzes. That was by Toxic Nightmares. Thank you so much. Um, I Here's something I try and do, and I would suggest trying to do for your channel, because... In order to be successful on YouTube, you have to be original. You can't do things people have done before, and that's kind of where I went wrong at the start of my YouTube career, um, where I kind of tried to copy game theory. Uh, I even kind of um, made the thumbnails kind of the same, and pe people were like, stop, you're copying MatPat. Um, so I would say you have to be original, and the way you do that is by getting one thing and combining it with another that somehow works. You've got to try things out before you know things work. So to come up with the ideas, as you said, um, I'll, I'll go with FNAF Unsolved an ex as an example. FNAF Unsolved is FNAF mixed with BuzzFeed Unsolved. If you don't know what BuzzFeed Unsolved is, where they, where they go through unsolved mysteries in the real world, um, paranormal, events stuff like that stories uh, and they do it in the same kind of style but I mix the two so that it's it takes place in the FNAF universe this week on BuzzFeed Unsolved we covered the unfortunate murder of the unknown boy in the box this week on FNAF Unsolved we take a look at the unsolved mystery of the murder at Circus Baby's Pizza World on February 25th 1957 June 26th of an unknown year Wait, so I was excited to hear about this boy who lived in a box. I told you, it's not as magical as it sounds. They just found a dead kid in a box? Firstly, I'd like to welcome this week's special guest, joining me over the interwebs during this fantastic time. Welcome, Tia. Hello. Hello. So how much do you know about Five Nights at Freddy's? Um, nothing. I'm, I was kind of dragged here against my own will. Um, so I kind of mixed those two ideas together. Then I thought, FNAF podcast, mix them together. FNAF quiz, mix them together. Nobody's really ever done that before. Um, so you've just got to kind of think, what what can you mix something with to make it a new original idea? Uh, and I think I did that, especially with FNAF Unsolved, and it became successful. Ben Welsh says, what was the origin of your original YouTube name of Science Appliance? Did you have ambitions in the scientific area? Yes. Um, if you don't know, I am basically a mathematician. Um, I love maths and so, so much, and like physics and stuff. It all interests me. Um, but my original ambitions were, as I said, to be a bit like game theory and take games uh, and ideas and things like that and merge them together with real science. Um, and see what what can happen really if they were in the real world um that was something i liked i liked i would like have to done would have liked have to done what am i talking about you know what i mean you know what i mean um that's why i call it science appliance which i thought was actually a really good name at the time it kind of grew out of me though any dreams for the future you also ask um yeah i i have a lot of dreams for the future uh obviously uh, to get married to my significant other right now. Um, don't know, have a, have a child, I don't know. <laughs> get a nice big house. Um, about my, about YouTube, um, which is probably what you are asking about, not, not my, <laughs> not my, not the rest of my life story. Um, but, um, my YouTube, um, it would be cool if it was full time. I would like to be a teacher. Um, a maths teacher but um, if not well yeah if I would like to be a youtuber 
Um, if not, then maths teacher, obviously. Um, but for YouTube, I would be like extremely satisfied. Like my goal right now, my subscriber goal is 100k. That's when you get the silver plaque. That's all I want. <laughs> I don't. I don't care after that. No. No. I do. Um, it's. It's. I don't really care that much. I. I really like um, being able to make videos as a hobby, uploading them to YouTube and getting people to respond to it and say and you know praising you for it because it's a lot of work. It's a lot more work than people think. Um, and when you get um, appreciated for doing things like that, uh, it's a it's a really nice feeling. So um, I would love a hundred k, but at the end of the day, it's fun making these videos. Uh, so I do this for fun. <laughs> Gamer on has said, "What has been your favorite Fazbear Fright story and least favorite? Maybe you could rank them all." Thanks. Uh, I won't rank them all right now. Uh, maybe maybe once all of them are out, I'll rank all of them. Um, but my favourite, I'd have to say, I'd have to say To Be Beautiful, which is the second one in Into the Pit. I really like that story. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it. It's just such a cool concept. It's scary. It has such a good ending. Um, and I would really suggest you go and read that one uh, if you had to read any. My least favourite... Maybe... Maybe you count the ways. Or out of stock. I didn't I didn't really feel I didn't really feel it for those two. Um I didn't really like fetch either. I don't know, I I, <laughs> I would probably have to say um I would probably have to say count the ways. I didn't really enjoy count the ways that much. I felt into the pit was a good mix of good, bad, and like in between, like confusion, yeah, yeah, confusion is a good way to describe the first story. What do you think is the scariest Fazbear Fright story? Hmm. What had me on edge the most? One thirty-five a.m. was like tense in a way. It was creepy. I think to be beautiful again. I think that was very, very creepy, and I had chills reading it. I don't I don't know. I I do probably think to be beautiful again. It's always be boring. <laughs> okay, how long does it take to edit a FNAF unsolved video? What do you guys think? What do you how long do you think it takes me to edit a FNAF unsolved video? Um if you said oh, you said edit the creation, the entire creation of a FNAF unsolved video would probably be about like 10 to 20 hours like i know that's a wide range but about 10 to 20 hours in total uh it depends obviously um but nowadays when i've got guest stars as well we've got to organize a time and i've got to write an entire script for them uh as well and it also just takes longer to edit because these videos are going to be longer because we've got special guests in them uh 15 minutes long so about 15 minute long video is probably going to take about 15 hours <laughs> to, to create. Which is insane, by the way. That is not a good deal. Um, if you're going to start out YouTube, don't go for quality. Go for quantity. Um, and then work on quality as you build up. Uh, I realise that because I put a lot of quality and effort into my earlier videos. Uh, and, well... Nobody really, um, <laughs> nobody seemed to, to watch them. So nobody knew how good my videos were. <laughs> but yeah, I'd go for quantity, not quality. What's your favourite FNAF Unsolved video? Huh. I, f I feel like the original, again, the original is really good. Um... Here's the thing, with every FNAF Unsolved video I've made, I feel like there's a downfall, like one thing wrong with it, um, and I hate it. 
I think the most recent one with Inky Ink was pretty good, uh, only because, you know, he, he didn't realise that he was the winner of the FNAF quiz, and we had a good drum roll, which was a good meme. Um, I don't know, I think my favourite edited one would have to be um, my first uh, season 2 one, uh, which is the one with Tia, Murder at the Circus, that's my favourite edited one. Uh, I just put so much editing into that, probably about 20 hours, yeah. Uh, but I was in lockdown then, so, uh, yeah. What will happen? Is Tony Stark, Henry and William make animatronic Springlock armor suits using the animatronics and the Iron Man armors to make a fusion of both, even with remnant, spark of life, agony and or soul? Yes. Why do you have a green screen behind you and you never use it? Yes. What's your IP? Where do you live? What is your first and last name? JK 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 That was just for lols. XD D D D D don't answer those questions. Yes. What do you think security breach will be like? Judging by the fact that we've got such a big wait for it, and it's been, well, has it been delayed? I, I, I don't think it ever was delayed. There was never a release date for it. But um, I think security breach is gonna be massive, like really good. Um, and I heard there were, there were new voice actors or something employed. I should probably make a video on it or something, or at least look at it on the internet. But I heard something about that, uh, and there was like a robotic overlord or something, like what? But um, I think Security Breach is going to be great, I think it probably will be my favourite game. What do you think the next FNAF game will be about? Um, I think it will be... Um, my This is my concept for the game, okay? Think of FNAF 1 and the fact that the animatronics like take it in turns to get activated through the night. So in FNAF, uh, so sorry, in night one it's usually only Bonnie that attacks you, and night two maybe Foxy will attack you, night three maybe Chica, four Freddy, and then five it's just everyone. I, I don't know how to explain it better than that. Anyway, um, I'm hoping in FNAF Security Breach, because Vanny is now the one kind of passing the torch along for the Glitch Trap army to take place. I'm hoping that these Glamrock animatronics are going to be deactivated, but Vanny is going to like inject a, a, a bit of glitch trap into each one, and then each one will become active um, through the night. I think that is very, a very cool concept. Um, so maybe at the start it's just Vanny or something. And then it'll be Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Chica, Montgomery Gator, Roxanne Wolf, whatever. Um, I think that's such a cool concept. But I don't know. I, I don't know. Does your house have doors? Yes. Are you going to read the teaser at the end of Step Closer? I'm thinking about it. I am thinking about it. The only thing is, um, I kind of wanted to read all of the teasers uh, through once all of the teasers are out but now that I think about it I might just do them now uh, because I may as well and I have time uh, so I'm, I'm probably gonna start um, a teaser audiobook from Into the Pit then go to Fetch then 135 AM then step closer which FNAF would be the scariest for you to play if it was real life FNAF 6 I think FNAF oh <laughs> FNAF 4. FNAF 4 is a shout. But I think FNAF 6 is really scary because the animatronics are like all broken down and then you got Molten Freddy who's basically like an octopus. <laughs> um, you've got Scrap Baby who's just creepy as hell. Um, I do think probably FNAF 6 but FNAF 4 is a shout because you know obvious reasons. What do you do when not making videos? I work. Uh, I do a few. I actually do a few things. I play guitar. Uh, I started playing guitar at the start of this year. It was kind of like a New Year's resolution, but not a resolution. It was more like a New Year's hobby. <laughs> Doesn't sound as catchy. But um, I started playing guitar at the start of this year. Uh, I've been songwriting and I'm making an album, kind of. Um, that's kind of one of the things I, I do. I like drawing as well. Um, 
and and just I don't know. I I always make videos when I'm when I'm not doing anything. When I'm sat at home, I like going out. Obviously, I have a girlfriend. So yeah, I, I'm I'm a normal guy who likes to make videos and to play guitar as well. That's that's pretty much me. Anyway, that's me. Um, <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, this is a very different video indeed, uh, but I hope you enjoyed. A lot of it was still FNAF. Oops. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, I might even do a second part if you want. Um, I'm free to share my life with you guys, because I love you guys. <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!